We hear so much about VR goggles this and VR that, but what about VR's better brother, AR? It may be here now. This comes from Magic Leap and it's finally unveiled the augmented reality, which is what AR stands for, goggles headset uh, after three years and $1.9 billion of funding from such places as Google and Alibaba. Yeah, because of course you need it. The Google Glass is a piece of fart and they were just like, That's Let's do one this. of like the most notorious tech fails, I guess. Yeah. Where it just couldn't get off the ground. Oh man, I remember being like around 20 whenever that came out. It was and only like two or three years ago. Feels like a billion years ago, but I saw people <laughs> in San Francisco wearing them and just like, look at me, look at me. And it's like, what could you possibly be seeing right now? Uh huh. I get it. It went for well, it went for a decidedly lower like thumbprint, I guess, than this is going for. That one tried to disappear, all but disappear. But this one is like I have used the Google goggles. Glass, and it was basically like looking at a browser mm -hmm. uh, that you swipe by doing this or this. No. Or if your hair gets in the way like mine does, just constantly messing up. Uh, but these ones do look a little bit more in depth and they do a lot more. Do we have an image? Let's take a look. So oh, yeah, it comes them. with the headset, uh, a puck shaped <coughs> external computer that's on the left is the light pack and a handheld controller. And it takes in multiple inputs, including your voice, your gesture, your head pose, your eye tracking, and maps persistent items in your environment. And then um, it's able to tell you more information about them. So Rolling Stone was uh, able to try out some demos. They had virtual characters that would react to eye contact, a virtual comic book, um, a live performance using volumetric camera capture. There's also ways where menus could pop up for things. Uh, I like this a lot more than VR because yeah. it won't make me sick or lost or bump into things. I like the idea of things being like a HUD, you know? Yeah, that's and uh, that's exactly the same learning for more me. about my environment as opposed to being in a completely separate environment, which is cool too, but it's its own separate thing. Probably better for games than utilitarian purposes. This seems like the time when it's all starting to come together because we always have AR, whether people know it or not, when they use their Snapchat filters, they are augmenting reality. Yeah. That is like a very fundamental way to do it. And then you just start thinking of every possible application for everything. And all the stuff that you otherwise would have to go down into your phone to have mm -hmm. to access to look up about where you are, mm -hmm. now it's gonna be in your goggles. Not only that, but you look like kind of a, a uh, original maniac. Bioshock welder. <laughs> Yeah, basically. Like underwater well, would you, punk. Would you wear it though? I would. I would absolutely wear it. I would try it. I. It looks padded enough. You I can mean, it get looks custom ridiculous. pads for your nose and your uh, the bridge. It looks ridiculous. One thing that I'm worried about is when you look at that, from that angle at least, it looks like it changes how bright things are and how difficult it is going to be for them to kind of maintain this air of a transparent lens that we're just overlaying stuff on in reality. Mm -hmm. I want to know about the weight the feel, and then of course your peripheral vision being so limited by having this giant thing wrapped around your What's head. What's cool though is they're working on incorporating um, prescription lenses for this. Yeah, that's great. So if you have glasses, it's not incompatible with your life, mm -hmm. which is cool. But at the same time, I don't know if I could see myself wearing this honestly because we, I remember Snapchat released their own version of glasses and I thought, oh, I don't wanna be one of those jackasses walking around trying to get people to ask me about my, Freaking glasses. I have the same exact instinct with everything like this. Like this one's enough over the top where it's like no one's pretending it's genuinely cool. Mm -hmm. Like it's interesting and and like you're obviously trying this future thing on your head. Yeah. The Snapchat ones with the circles in the corners, I totally get it. It's like I bought in. <laughs> this is me now. Mm -hmm. um, it also includes four microphones, six external cameras, built-in speakers. Uh, it's very much in that aspect like the HoloLens from Microsoft, which was the only major excursion we had seen previously into the AR world. Well, besides Pokemon Go, I mean like right. a real hardware. What's your, what's your preferred use for this? Like when you, if you were to get one, what would you use it I for? I would want it to tell me more about my environment. I would like to use it while driving, while walking to places. Um, I would like warnings for safety, I would like, to learn more about things around me. So for me, I like like the spatial modifications. There's a lot of, there is a report out 
or there was an event in New York a while back, and they showed their five, like 15 favorite things to come out of an AR display expo. And it was awesome because it just kind of showed um, things like, I don't know how to do the furniture in my house, so I'm going to map it and then put in all these things. Oh. I also want like, and then you can move all the furniture around and decorate your house in a more reliable way. Uh-huh. Because then you're in it as opposed to having to have the screen if you're in it and you're looking around at where things are and how the flow would feel. But then, um, I don't know. I also, I, I, I really want to have like skin so I can make the entire world like medieval if I want to. <laughs> like in Rainbow's End. Uh, that's a good use. That's a creative use because mine were too practical. Now I feel boring. Oh, also, Ikea assembly. Yeah. Where I it like is like, that's the thing. Pick it up. Put it here. Okay, match <laughs> the movement. Turn. That's uh, that's awesome. Audience, uh, what would you use AR goggles for and would you wear them? Please let us know on Facebook and Twitter. Are you struggling with what to get your friends and enemies this holiday season? Look no further because TYT for the first time is offering three month holiday memberships for only $25. You would get access to all of TYT clips, episodes, podcasts, downloads, extras. For this offer, please go to tytnetwork.com gift and keep the lights on. I'm scared of the dark.